The real science behind Hindu temples which not many know. Scientific reason for visiting temples. In India, there are thousands of Hindu temple but all are not built in a Vedic way. In ancient India saints and kings used to have temples built exactly, according to Vedic maths and the location should have the passing of the maximum Earth's magnetic wave. Although the scientist failed to decode the Vedic calculation as Vedic calculation was very strong. Metal beneath the statue Most of the temples you will find idol is placed above the copper plate. There is a strong reason for doing so. It is widely believed that these copper plates absorb the Earth's magnetic waves in abundance and radiate it to the surroundings. Divine Aspect of Temples A temple is a miniature cosmos comprised of the five elements and a presiding deity. A temple is an outgrowth of the deity, which has its independent intelligence and from which energy is constantly radiating. Essentially, temples were designed to be spaces, where the mind spontaneously moves within and meditation happens effortlessly. Every aspect of the temple, from the architecture to the rituals to the kinds of worship offered, has been consciously created to make this experience happen. Energy Centers Looking at ancient India you will understand the fundamental and purpose of science behind the temples. Temples were designed for followers to develop the positive energies in themselves, and to attain that state of mind which generally people even fails to understand. Most of the temples were focused to activate chakras in the human body, which is the main energy system within the human body. Location of Deity the temples are strategically built at a place, where the positive energies are available, abundantly from the magnetic and electric wave distribution of north slash south pole thrust. Idol is placed in the center of the temple. The temple is built only after the idol is placed. The place where magnetic waves are maximum, the idol is placed there. Ringing the bell. People going to temple should ring the bell before worshipping the main deity or if they find bell at the time of entering only then they should ring it. These bells are made in such a way that when they produce a sound it creates a unity in the left and right parts of our brains. The moment we ring the bell, it produces a sharp and enduring sound which lasts for a minimum of 7 seconds in echo mode. The duration of the echo is sufficient enough to activate all the healing centers of our body.